Hey what's up guys, welcome back to SL Prime. Today we're going to be reviewing the astrophotography performance on the Pixel 4a. So it's actually pretty easy to take astrophotography pictures. All you have to do is just have a tripod and go ahead and use your Pixel 4a and go ahead and go to the night sight section and then what you're going to do is hold your phone as stable as you can and then once you leave it stable it's going to say astrophotography on as you can see there. Just a little bit sideways, but let's keep it straight. There we go. It's going to say that in a second. Three, two, there we go. And one thing that I'm going to let you know before you actually use this feature is to never set the focus off options to near or far. Just leave it how it is on auto. Unless you're shooting something relatively close, then you can go ahead and use near but if it's far, just don't touch it at all. Keep it on auto. And anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at some samples. Okay, starting out the first picture, you can see the astrophotography feature is actually very promising. As you can see, we can see a little bit of the Milky Way and the colors are a bit off. So as you can see, there's some orange stuff and that's not really supposed to be there, but overall it's decent. And here I have a second picture to show you guys how far the color can actually be off. As you can see, it looks very blue and that's not how it's supposed to look like if you shot this on a professional camera. And if you zoom in a little bit, you can see a little bit of drifting. Like you see the stars that have a trail behind them. Yeah, that's actually not an actual moving star. It's because of the camera drifting. So make sure you guys have a locked tripod and make it as stable as possible. Because if you guys didn't know, the astrophotography takes pictures for four minutes straight. So you guys are going to need it to be in exactly the same spot with the best performance. And for the third picture, as you can see, there's still a little bit of drift. I didn't figure out that you have to be really still. As you can see, that little trail up there is actually a satellite. But since the phone moved while recording that, it moved down a little, little bit. It should be a continuous, smooth line, but it's not. But if you take a look at the top, it still looks pretty cool to look at. All right, now let's move on to the second day of pictures. I actually figured out that you should not set any of the focus options just leave it on default and you can see the results are much better I have actual clear looking picture as you can see we have a mountain in the background and it's a tiny bit out of focus but most of the shot is actually pretty nice as you can see in the top corner you can see the Milky Way pretty nicely and for this sh vertical shot I was actually trying to get the mountains and a little bit of the Milky Way but I missed it completely and you may have noticed that it is out of focus and this is not because I set the focus to manual it's because the camera just didn't get it right that's right this camera can make mistakes so sometimes you will be taking multiple pictures until you can actually get one solid image and next up is one of my best images of the night as you can see, we got a little satellite moving over there and those bright spots are actually planets. And you can see on the very right side, the Milky Way is very clear, crisp, crisp and clean. It looks absolutely amazing and I cannot believe this is actually shot on a mobile device. Look at this second picture of the Milky Way. <laughs> You see, I was trying to capture the Milky Way, but my phone was drifting because I did not have a tripod. So I'm going to repeat that. Make sure you guys use a tripod if you're trying to take some astrophotography images. You're not going to be holding it on your hand, okay? So here are some extra pictures you may want to look at. One is good and another was a mistake. And now for the last shot, I wanted the Milky Way behind some trees. So as you can see, I pretty much executed that pretty perfectly, not trying to brag or anything, but as you can see, it, it looks pretty amazing. It varies a little bit by shot. As you can see, this shot has more blue, but this shot has less blue. And so you guys want to be taking multiple shots to get best results. And you can also edit it once you're all done, because you can easily just click this button down here and then go ahead and adjust different things to make it look however you like. 
And that is all to, for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe and I hope you have fun with your astrophotography images. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.